Hi, this is Matt, and I'm going to review the Seagate Free Agent Theater Plus HD Media Player. It's a very small device. It's about the size of maybe two books, two paperback books. Uh, it comes with, on the back, the inputs are the power. It's got a USB port on the back, as well as on the front. It's got a LAN connection for a wired Ethernet. It's got an HDMI out. It's got optical out for audio. It also has component. And then it's got a little AV out for this little cable that comes with, in case you don't have HDMI or, or component on your TV, you, you will be able to hook it up. It's really very simple to hook up. You plug in the HDMI connector, you plug in the power connector, and you have to actually insert, well, you don't have to, you don't have to insert the hard drive. It will work just fine without it. Um, but the hard drive that, that comes with this particular package is a 250 gig hard drive that is, is quite small and it actually fits right into the device. You just slide this cover off and then the hard drive slides right in and then it sits it sits in the dock kind of neat. I, do, I don't like it because it doesn't match but that's just me. If you put it behind uh, put it behind the desk or put it behind the drawer it's not going to be that big of an issue. But when you do turn it on you come up to the main menu here which offers you movies, pictures, music, internet and devices. Movies We'll, we'll go to your hard drive and look for all the different types of movie um, formats that are on there. You can do ISOs, you can do MS2TS, uh, I believe, uh, Blu-ray, regular DVD, um, AVI, all those, all the a million different kinds of, uh, of video formats. But if I want to go ahead and just move over to one of the Blu-ray movies that I've got on here, uh, this one's Monsters, Inc. And you'll see the quality is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it is just clear as a bell. Uh, the one nice thing about the HDMI is that all the audio and the video comes in the same cable, which is really super easy. Um, some TVs do, you know, don't have those, so you can you can use other cables or combinations and get it to work out. In addition to the movies, you can also go back to the home screen, and you can and you can you can also load pictures, audio files, um, different picture formats. You can do JPEGs up to 20 megapixels. Um, music, you can do uh, AAC, MP3. Uh, I think most of the people will use a, uh, MP3 these days, but for example, I'm going to move over to pictures here, and this allows you to do, um, you can select one picture, you can do a slideshow of different pictures. Uh, I do some sports photography, so I'm just going to pull up this, a couple of the pictures that I've got on here. Um, these are high resolution, and they show up really fantastic on an HD TV. Uh, if I hit the menu button on the remote, it does come with a remote, uh, I, can, I can rotate the pictures. I can adjust the slide timing, the slide transition. I can do a shuffle loop or a normal, just normal, which is just one picture, or a continuous, which will just cycle through all the pictures in the directory. And it will do directories too. If you put fo different folders of pictures, you can open up one folder at a time uh, or do multiple folders. Um, the, the, it also connects to the internet via a, a wired cable. I believe there is a wireless add-on that you can get that will connect to your wireless network, uh, but I have it connected to my wired connection. Right now, you can surf the internet, you can go to YouTube, you can go to Netflix. Um, in addition to, to the internet, you can use your local, if you go over to the main menu here, and you select the devices, you can plug in uh, a USB hard drive to the front, and it, it'll work the same as if it's plugged in. You can also stream directly from your computer, and that's what this button is right here. This is the network, and if, I, if you install the software on your computer, and connect it to this, you can stream videos right from your home home media PC or laptop or whatever. And, and it works, it works really well. I've even streamed Blu-ray discs and it works relatively well, assuming no one's downloading large files on the internet. Uh, overall, I really, really like this device. It's very small, super easy to set up. Uh, if you want to take it over to a person's house that, that doesn't have a, a, a Blu-ray player, you, you know, burn your DVD, or burn your Blu-ray to the hard drive, bring it over, you know, you can pop it into their TV, piece of cake. It's light, it works really well. Uh, at my house, I've got um, the uh, infrared uh, distributor, so I can put this back underneath, you know, the cabinet and just put the little the IR blaster thing on there, and it works with my Harmony One remote. Uh, that's really nice. You can kind of keep it out of the way, uh, because if you have a whole lot of stuff, it kind of kind of ruins the look of, of the TV. But overall, I would give this a five out of five. I love it a lot. It does great quality, it's super easy to use, and it does do a ton of different movie formats.